Nowadays, when we encounter new developments regarding the pandemic with each passing day, the situation continues to be ambiguous for the business world. While it becomes more and more difficult for companies to take the right steps, we're trying to shed some light on the issue as ERP News. TVN, the CEO of Aptine, is our guest speaker in this video. TVN has shared his views with us on what companies must do in the new normal shaped by the COVID-19 and how the software industry has been affected by the pandemic. So my first question is, uh, could you talk about your career in the software industry and Aptine, please? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I was one of those people who graduated right at the time where Windows 95 released. So we are, you know, it's very fascinating coming out of the college, going to technology. So um, most of my early career was all in uh, programming, development and architecture. Uh, primarily to web. That's that's kind of what was between 95 and 2000, really focused on internet. Um, and uh, that did a lot of uh, various things, primarily all around uh, building uh, services and software for, for cloud. I, and only in the B2B space. Most of my experience has been business to business. And prior to joining Aptian, I was, uh, I was at ADP, uh, which is uh, very known for payroll around the world. I helped as part of the team to build a large scale cloud solution for payroll and uh, payroll HR um, and, uh, and led product development for a number of uh, products and prime with primary focus on uh, cloud transformation. And, uh, you know, and I had an opportunity to uh, look at Apti in early 2013 I was pretty very intrigued uh, by the opportunity to really come into a business with a number of products that are loved by customers, built for very specific verticals, and the opportunity to kind of infuse the technology, uh, what, you know, what I'm really good at, to take you know, and help the customers and the markets uh, you know, on the, the digital transformation journey. So yeah, I'm very, I've been here for seven years now, um, and I started as the uh, CTO um, and then became COO about two years ago. I'm still as excited as, uh, today as I was seven years ago with the, um, you know, with the opportunity uh, for us to kind of you know, help with the technology transformation, the, the digital transformation of, um, you know, of the, our end markets, which is primarily the manufacturing and supply chain. Um, the effects of COVID-19 outbreak are felt all around the world and it's having a significant impact on the software industry too. Could you evaluate the effects of the pandemic on the ERP industry? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, obviously, you know, COVID-19 is, um, you know, is having impact across all the industries. I think software industry in general has been um, you know, has been more resilient than any other industries because number one, it's kind of probably uh, the best industry that would benefit from what happened with COVID-19, just helping everyone go digital. The you know, consumers and the businesses that were very were less comfortable with the, with the technology are forced to use technology. And these habits, even post-COVID world, will, will continue to drive the digitaliz digitalization uh, in a in more accelerated pay, pace than we all have been already uh, already seeing. From an ERP perspective, uh, we are, um, our solutions are extremely critical to the businesses we serve. Uh, it's a, a, a important parcel of how they run business. So we are, they're very critical to them. So we have been uh, fortunate that um, we are not really as much hit by COVID. Our priority really has been about how do we serve the customers uh, during this period. Even our customer segments, um, they, it's a, um, they, they're very resilient. All of them are very stable businesses. And there's some of them, especially the food 
uh, food and beverage companies that serve retail, their demand shot through the roof. So they're actually trying to figure out how to serve their demand. So we are helping them with the various solutions to kind of scale up really quick from a digital perspective, giving them, you know, allowing them to use uh, more number of users, all of those things. Um, and you know, there are some industries uh, hit a little bit harder, um, uh, but more, uh, all in all, uh, it's been, we've seen very stable and resilient uh, market for us, even through COVID. Mm -hmm. And we're in the midst of an unprecedented crisis and companies are trying to adapt rapidly to these changing circumstances. But some have stepped up and used their unique resources and expertise to help limit the destruction caused by the pandemic. Uh, have you had a problem adapting to the new environment or were you ready? And what's your action plan as Aptian? So uh, you can never be ready for something like COVID, right? No one anticipated it's gonna happen. Um, you know, first and foremost thing um, is, you know, when we heard about it, uh, number one thing we focus on is employee safety of the employees. As, as like any other business, first thing you have to make sure our employees are safe and then we are helping our customers and their employees to be safe. Right? That was our number one priority. Um, I couldn't be more proud of our employee base. We have roughly 1,700 employees around the globe. Uh, we, you know, just in, within a matter of weeks, we moved all those employees from office, uh, working in um, offices, most of them work from offices, to the remote. And we didn't skip a beat, right? And serving the customers, our priority was, you know, uh, while keeping employee safety, also serve the customers, because as the customers are transitioning and dealing with these, and we didn't skip a beat, whether it be in the customer support or on on the cloud on the cloud operations and business continuity, different aspects of running the business and serving customers. Uh, we stayed very strong. So again, I'm very, very proud of our employees, um, you know, going through the transition and supporting our customers to it. Um, and you know, when you, when you run into situations like this, um, it, this is where the companies and the leadership but have to be very agile. Um, you know, they, they have to, you know, the information was, you know, it was coming in uh, quickly, you know, and the things were changing very quickly. Every day it was, it was kind of like, okay, today uh, it's going to go, right, in the case they're going to go to millions and next day, no, not that much. And, and uh, what, uh, what federal government is going to do, how governments will respond in each country and each each region. So it's really, you know, no, during the time there was no uh, one answer. So it's really about being agile, focused on the real priorities about health of the employees and supporting the customers and navigate through it, navigate with the new information. And um, yeah, and you know, we, we could be, we successfully had done that. We can, you know, all, all the employees work digital, uh, work remote, use all the digital technologies to serve the customers extremely well. We help the customers move their employees uh, from the physical locations to remote uh, remote working. Um, in addition, it's really understanding their need, what they're going through. Um, um, some of these customers, they needed immediate place to go to cloud because they just couldn't access their on-prem system. So we helped them get to cloud. We gave them additional kind of licenses because their concurrency goes up when they're working from home versus office. So there are various things we try to uh, help our customers, um, you know, navigate uh, navigate the period. The great, uh, you know, great thing is things are opening up um, and businesses are uh, semi back to where they were. Um, and also, um, you know, everyone's starting to learn, uh, not only businesses, also the employees, so trying to learn how to work in this world. Like you know, the way I'm doing this, this meeting from my basement. <laughs> so it's the same thing. You can do the video conference and Zoom conference with 25 people on the video. Um, and uh, you know, everyone's learning. So I think um, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely uh, personally, I'm pretty, uh, you know, pretty impressed with not only our employees, also how everyone, our customer base, our customers' employees, how they how they adapted to this and how quickly they adapted to it uh, and, and running their businesses uh, almost at the same strength as they did pre-COVID. 
And what would be your recommendations for companies that were caught off guard by this crisis? Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's really about preparing for tomorrow. Um, everyone, um, everyone is on a, some path to digital transformation. Some are maybe at the end, some are up there. It's really go digital. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's inevitable, it's needed for long-term health of the business and the, and the productivity. So really invest, um, invest in going digital. So prepare for tomorrow today as much as we can. Uh, invest in using digital technologies, invest in um, you know, the, the mobile workforce, invest in uh, an employee can work from anywhere and still be productive. All of those technologies that take However, at the same time, same time, don't lose sight of what makes the core business tick. Right? This is, you know, um, Appkin is you know, one thing I'm very proud of, or we're very proud of, is the blend of technology into a purpose-built solution that, that works for our customers really, really well. Um, sometimes in the, in the thick, of, uh, thick of making decisions, people could just kind of go the other way. Right? Pendulum could go the other way and say, okay, let me just go and adopt technology. But adopting technology for technology's sake, you know, will force you to come back and relook at, right? It may not meet the needs of your business. So it's really adopt the digitalization, um, accelerate plans for digital transformation with a keen eye um, in, in picking a solution that works for their business in the long term. Um, that, that, is, that is the key. Um, again, uh, and, and uh, stay engaged with employees, stay engaged with customers during the tough times and always uh, build relationships um, so that it, you know, if it does ever happen again, hopefully never, I mean, not in our lifetimes, something like this, happens again. It's a, you know, you, we go through this um, as a team, as, co as collaborative as possible um, and uh, be successful in, on, all, on all the fronts. Digital transformation is crucial for companies that want to stay competitive and relevant during these uncertain times. How do your products and services support your customers' digital transformation journeys? Yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is one of the bi uh, biggest things we invest in um, trying to get, like uh, as a technologist, uh, my background, right? What excites me is really our, uh, our abilities to be able to help the customers that are in this very super vertical industries uh, and the solution that fits their business uh, like, like no one else and, and they're helping them transform, um, go through this digital transformation journey. And you know, we, we offer cloud offerings to almost all customers we have. Um, and uh, a lot of our solutions help them use mobile workforce and the plant automation solutions and give visibility in, the, in their operations through providing data, right? The business intelligence and analytics and all of the, all of, there is the number of solutions we, we have that helps the customers to make real-time decisions uh, and use cloud, um, use cloud. Um, and and these, all these solutions should help them um, really making the right decisions um, and, and uh, you know, and, and accelerate their, their digital transformation journey. It is, on, uh, it is the number one priority for Aptian you know, to help our customers kind of, kind of go take this digital transformation journey and, and while, while still meeting the needs of their business, not just technology for technology's sake. And, mm -hmm. and also integrating, yeah, another one very important from digital transformation journey is really, you know, technology has to traverse through their different uh, functions. They have to break, break in the silos within their within their businesses to be able to ad adapt the digitalization more most effectively because it's it's not a it's not deploying a piece of technology it's it's changing their processes to align um, with as what software and the data can offer so they can get the most benefits of you know of the this the whole digitalization moment mm -hmm. And the COVID-19 outbreak has reminded companies that they have to be capable of just of adjusting to changes in the workforce, such as working remotely. So how did you handle this situation? Yeah, um, said, as I said, we went remote almost immediately. Um, and, 
Unfortunately, uh, all of our employees had ability to work remotely. They always work from home and remote uh, with the equipment and everything else. We could, uh, we could do that very quickly without skipping a beat and, uh, you know, and providing business continuity and support continuity to uh, 4,000 customers around the world, uh, close to 1,000 customers that are on our cloud systems. Um, and, and we instituted a, a daily uh, stand-up check-ins so that every employee is touched by a manager and other peers. So we're not only kind of helping them, uh, helping them to be stay engaged and productive, also being there for one another, right? These are, these are the tough times. So it's being there for one another and, and then you know, all the using the, you know, video, uh, reading the digital collaboration tools like Teams or, um, or, or Zoom just kind of kept uh, kept the collaboration among the teams, among the executive team, all the way down to different different teams happening all the time, um, and that that is you know that's helped us significantly. It's actually in some ways you probably uh, some of the employees were talking, discussing more during the COVID time as because they were um, they're having these daily check-ins and daily standard meetings than even prior. So um, it is um, you know the, the like I said, I mean, I'm very really proud of how uh, how all the employees came together um, and and worked through it. And I think we're we you know we are we continue to be as productive as we were prior to going going to into the situation. 